Are you still taking those risks? Are you still trying those things today? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh. It's not something that just 23-year-old Chris did. <laughs> no, it's, it's literally how I got almost, I think it's how I got every job really I've ever had in this industry. And like, you know, long story short, that's how I got an internship at Checks TV that turned into a job. It was like, hey, it's, it's reading week next week. I'm going to be in town. Could I come by and talk to you about this job? Well, we don't usually do that. But if you're going to be in town, I, yeah, I guess I give you some time. That's, that's how I got that one. I, even before that, I got my very first volunteer position in radio, basically the same way of like, hey, I'm, I'm super passionate about this. Can I just come in and like help out? See how it's done in the real world? Sure, come on by. I got my job in Florida, in Miami. I was hosting this amazing show called Deco Drive. I was an entertainment reporter there. And I got that job because I happened to be on vacation at Disney World. And I knew <laughs> in that- In Orlando? In Orlando. And I knew that this job was possible. And I said to my agent, I said, if I could change my flight to fly out of Miami instead of Orlando- rent a car to drive down to Miami and call into work sick on Monday. Do you think they could give me an audition? She's like, I don't know. We'll see. She came back to me. She's like, yeah, yeah, they can meet you at, I think it was like 7.30 PM. And I was like, done, I'll make it happen. And I literally did that. I called into work sick, changed my flight, rented a car. And I just wanted them to be able to see an audition of me in person rather than just like looking at my audition tape. And if they were, you know, not going to go with me, at least they could like see me in person and go, man, eh, not the right fit, but I wanted to at least stack the odds in my favor. So yes, that's been an entire career. And a lot of them with like YouTube videos where it's like, this person said they would do an interview with me for my YouTube channel, but they're five and a half hours away. Man, do I really want to drive five and a half hours there, five and a half hours back for a 20 minute interview? Yes, I do. And I did that a <laughs> bunch of times too. Do, do I really want to? Yes, I will. <laughs> yeah. Like, and, and is that of... just again about connection, about rapport? Or is that, the, is that standards you've set? Or is that about differentiating yourself from everyone else? I think it's just if I'm given the opportunity and someone is willing to bestow upon me their valuable time, because again, I think time's so valuable. Who am I to say no? So right there in front of me. I've got to take this opportunity. That is so cool. Uh, with it. my booking agent, I have, there's a few names, but there's one in particular where he's based out of the UK and we're on standing order. My whole team's on standing order where it's like, I don't care what day, I don't care what city, I don't care how long we get. Yes. If you get me in in person, you just tell me and I will be <laughs> whatever. This is a comedian. So it's like wherever they are on their tour, whatever city they're in, whatever time of day, I will be there. You just tell me. <laughs> and I think there's a lot of people that would go, ah, oh, it's far. And, you know, they'd start coming up with the excuses. If you want to hear more confessions and lessons learned from a Hollywood A-lister reporter, check out the full conversation I had with Chris Van Vliet. The link is right over there.